Tammy Bruce, Tearing Down Statues is about Marxism and Erasing America's History. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. The removal of statues is not limited to a question over whether their message is suitable for current times, it is about Marxism, Fox Nation host Tammy Bruce said Tuesday. The people controlling the narrative at this point are determined to cast everything in America's history, much of which has been difficult, as bought. We had to go ahead and have the Civil War to correct a process that was been going on to end slavery, Bruce told Fox and Friends. Bruce said that the Marxist dynamic is not to have a conversation that includes the greater American community, which has been ongoing since the country's inception. This is about erasing our past in its entirety, Bruce said. From George Washington to Ulysses S. Grant, statues, monuments vandalized extend beyond Confederates amid Black Lives Matter protests President Trump said late Monday that anyone caught vandalizing monuments or any other federal property can be subject to arrest and face up to 10 years in prison. The president's latest statement follows an attempt to take down a statue of Andrew Jackson in Washington, D. C. S. Lafayette Square near the White House Monday night, a second incident targeting the nearby St. John's Church, and prior vandalism of the Lincoln Memorial and World War II Memorial. I have authorized the federal government to arrest anyone who vandalizes or destroys any monument, statue or other such federal property in the U.S., with up to 10 years in prison, for the Veterans Memorial Preservation Act or such other laws that may be pertinent, Trump tweeted. This action is taken effective immediately, but may also be used retroactively for destruction or vandalism already caused. There will be no exceptions. Click here for the Fox News of Bruce said that the push to remove statues is about condemning the United States with no room for forgiveness. If you noticed, all the condemnation about systemic racism. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.